Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas from Krista and Jody. Thanks for tuning in to our Treats and Eats. This month is really Treats and Eats. We try to base our cooking off the monthly specials, which we did a little bit, but mostly we just wanted to make yummy Christmas treats and show you how to use your food storage, your freeze-dried food to make yummy things for neighbors. So there's two reasons. One is because it actually makes it really easy if you're using freeze-dried food um, to, to make some of these things, and we'll show you why. And then for two, because it kind of introduces people to food storage a little bit. So if you're like, I kind of want my neighbors to be prepared so they don't come knocking on my door, like it's a little introduction. Um, so I hope that you like what you see. We'll talk about the monthly specials a little bit um, at the end. If there is something featured on it, we'll try to highlight that. But we are, we have a lot of recipes. We're going to try to be done like 45 minutes tonight because we both got places to be. So we'll try not to drag on, but sometimes these things are just, it takes a lot of time to cook a lot of things and we want to show you so many fun things. So Krista is going to start off with a, so she's doing drinks and I'm doing treats tonight, but we're going to go back and forth so you don't get too bored staring at either one of us for too long. So Krista is first. Okay. I'm going to mute. Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. Hi guys. It is Christmas. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm good. The first drink I am going to, um, show you guys how to make is wassail. Does anybody like her had never heard of wassail, right? Wassail. Wassail is so easy to make. And I've heard that like over time and traditional recipes are very, not difficult, but time consuming. There's lots of prep work involved, right? But with Thrive, you don't have all that prep work. It's awesome. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to start at the end. Okay. Because what I do is I, I do this as a Christmas gift. Okay. So I'm going to scoot over here a little bit because I, this is my little table. I'm actually set up in my office so I could have a nice Christmas tree in the background. Right. And this is my front window. So if you're outside my house, you look into this, this is awesome. But so I wanted a Christmas thing. So I'm kind of in my office. I'm going to run to my kitchen and use the, my, the stove and stuff. But I have some water on the stove um, to go ahead and start cooking this because this is actually a stovetop wassail, right? But I love doing these for Christmas presents because they are so easy. So like the directions to actually make this, right? Somebody's going to open the top and dump it in five cups of water and you're going to bring it to a simmer and to a boil and let it simmer for a few minutes. And then you have your wassail. You drain the wassail, right, through a sifter um, or colander, whatever it is you have, because the apples are in there, but everything gives it that taste. Um, and you draw, you drain the cinnamon sticks out. But this is a beautiful, look at how beautiful this jar is, right? You've got all your, um, the bottom layer, we're going to go through that because we're going to make some right here in a minute. But I'm going to go um, throw this on the stove so it'll be done by the time I show you how the jar works, okay? So hold on two seconds, I'll be right back. We left you with no hosts. But never fear, she is coming back. We're going to give you guys cute labels um, for all of these things. So I've been working on them, but this is what the fronts look like. So each thing will have a cute label and a little tag that you can attach if you're using it for a gift. Hi, sorry. I felt like we left them unattended. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I'm so sorry. It was actually harder to get out of the jar than I thought. It's been sitting in right here for um, an hour or so. So we're gonna make a jar really quick, okay? And I just wanted to make sure it doesn't boil over on my stove while I'm not attending it too. So, um, all right, so let's get started actually making a jar and I'll, I'll tell you what's in the jar. Um, so we're gonna start with this. So if you can see this, this is actually what I did was I took a cup of our Fuji apples and twirled them in my blender. So I blended them basically into apple dust, right? And so that's gonna go in the bottom of our jar. And if your apples sit for a minute, they kind of get stuck together. So we're going to do this. So there's my apples. Okay. And I like to even it out a bit as it's going into the jar. Um, and then what is next? Um, we're going to use two tablespoons of tang. And this is the nice part. Again, this is the great part about Thrive is that the recipe calls for two. I put three because I love tang. <laughs> it's one of those childhood drinks of mine that I just love. So I added an extra, 
I do that when I'm actually making tang, right? Um, I added a little extra, right? So then we have some spices and seasonings, right? So in this little jar, I've got some nutmeg, some ginger. And um, so we, in the summertime, we usually sell um, a product of lemonade. You guys know about the lemonade? Ever had it? Um, actually, so how that works is I didn't have any open and I didn't want to open a can for an eighth of a teaspoon. <laughs> So I used, um, have you guys ever seen this? I always have this in my cupboard as well. True lemon, this is awesome. True lemon and lime, always good in a pinch. Um, so that's what's in this little jar. We're gonna throw that in there. And then we're gonna throw in three tablespoons of brown sugar. And it hardened too. That's what I couldn't get out of my jar actually. It's cause it's so dry here. Yeah. So <laughs> it hardens immediately in the state of Arizona. <laughs> it's still a little soft though. Okay, that done. We're gonna poke that down. So it looks like a nice little layer. And then we are gonna put eight cloves in. This is the magic, the magicness, right? So when this actually boils on the stove, you get those nice spices. Um, and then we're actually gonna put two whole cinnamon sticks in there as well. And I poked them along the side. So I kind of put the poke them in. And then I filled the rest of the jar up with apple slices. Now the recipe calls for the Fuji, but what I did here is I used our cinnamon apples because why not put a little extra cinnamon in there, right? So I'm going to add those to here. And these were at the bottom of the can, so they're kind of broken up already. Oops, I spilled one. Oh, that's so sad. You know, just spill it to the top with apples. <laughs> My office is going to be covered in food. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right. <laughs> All right. So there's our pretty jar. We're going to put a lid on it. And put one of those tags that Jody's going to give us. Um, and it's good to go for a present for someone, right? So, so yeah, so that is the wassail. So I'm going to turn it back over to Jody if she's still around. Um, and I'm going to go, yep, there she is. So that's the wassail. It's easy, quick, makes for great Christmas presents. All of these things make for great Christmas presents. And if you do like six in a row, right, you're just adding ingredients here and there. And you have six done in 10 minutes. It's so easy and so quick. It's totally awesome. Um, don't eat the, the apples right out of the jar, but they're really good. <laughs> you need or, the out of the jar. Right? <laughs> exactly. All right. So I'm going to turn it back over to Jody, and she's going to talk um, something very, very good. Something yummy. There's bonbons. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Guys, I burnt my milk or my cream while I was... I thought Krista was going to be done. So I started it cooking and then it burnt. Okay. So there are two different things that I'm going to show you. Oh, I can't decide if I want to show you the finished product. No, I'm going to show you it after. Okay. So we're going to make bonbons. There's two ways that we can do it. So the first way you take, and there's different words, truffles or bonbons. Okay. I'm heating up a half cup of cream. I didn't have room here because I have so much stuff, but, and then I'm going to pour in about half a bag of white chocolate chips into this bowl. Then I'm going to, once your cream starts bubbling, mine is simmering, it's almost ready. Then I'm going to pour it on to this chocolate and it's going to get my chocolate chippies melty. So in the meantime, then I take half a cup of freeze-dried strawberries. Now you could do any fruit. So the strawberries are not on sale, but they should be because they're red. There was nothing red on sale. And I'm like, how do you make Christmas treats with nothing red? So I was a little sad about that. Um, so I did, but blueberries are on sale. So I am gonna show you some stuff with blueberries. So I just put it in this little food processor. You can blend it in a blender. My milk's done. So I'm gonna pour the milk, it's cream. It's half a cup of heavy cream. You just bring it barely to a simmer over medium heat and then pour it 
onto these chocolate chips because as if chocolate chips aren't fattening enough, you got to add heavy whipping cream to it. Sure. This is not a diet episode. I'm just going to throw that out there. So as I stir this, it becomes ooey gooey deliciousness. It may not melt all the way, but then I just throw it in the microwave and get it a little more melty. So I'm stirring it up. You probably can't see it. And all my bowls are dirty. I've been cooking everything all day. So um, I'm going to let that get gooey. And that turns into like the inside creamy base of your bonbons. So then while that's settling, then I just going to zoom this and it makes a powder of strawberry. It works really good and fast. So like I said, you could also do that in the blender, but I just do this in this and it makes a fine strawberry powder, which you can use for lots of things. We've showed before, like you can do frosting for cookies with that. <coughs> Excuse me. So my bowl is a little small, but I'm just gonna keep stirring these up. Once you get it really smooth, then you add your strawberry powder. And I had a really tall bowl I was doing it in earlier. It worked a little bit better. So then you add the strawberry powder. I'm just going to go for it. And it starts to make almost like a fondant. Like my grandma used to always make chocolates with fondant and we called it fondant, I guess. It was just like, but it was candy. It was a very big process and you had to heat it over the stove at the right temperatures and all this. But this basically just makes a yummy strawberry flavor deliciousness. So I'm stirring, I don't know if you can see it in here, but I'll show you what it looked like earlier. So this was the bowl it was in. You can see, and you want to set it in the fridge or just let it set. I think I did it in the fridge for about at least an hour so that it gets so, um, hard enough that you can, um, can mold it. So it's really gooey right now. But, so I did this earlier and molded it into these. So these are my bonbons. So I did two different ways. So one of them, I just took this little meatball scoop. It makes kind of big bonbons. And then I, after I molded them, then I put them in the freezer because they're still ooey gooey. I don't know if there's a better way to do it, but so this actually, so I made two different ones. My chocolate. I lost my chocolate. Oh, I found it. So I melted chocolate. So I have these like melty wafers. They're like what you'd use for a chocolate fountain, but you could just use chocolate chips, whatever is going to make a good melting chocolate. And then I just scoop it over. You cover your deliciousness bond. Delicious bond, bond. Look at that. Don't you want to eat it? My whole family was wanting to eat these all day when I was making this earlier. So then I just kind of set the bonbon on wax paper, make sure it's covered all the way. These are not gonna look like store-bought. Sorry, they're not perfect. My circles aren't perfect. But so then one trick I did, which was just for fun, I took it, I had the bonbon in here, and then I stuck one freeze-dried strawberry inside like this. And so in the middle, when you take a bite, there's gonna be a delicious, strawberry inside so that's one way that you can do it so i just did this oh and i forgot then i was supposed to reserve a little bit of the powder and you sprinkle it on top i didn't say it enough but i also have green sprinkles so you could sprinkle a little green on top then you got a yummy chocolate truffle okay so that's a little more intense another thing you can do that's just fun is so you can take your bigger pieces of strawberry and I just used, I got my hands all dirty now. I used these little tongs. I just dipped, literally just dipped a freeze-dried strawberry. Like you always have chocolate covered strawberries, right? Well, you can have chocolate covered freeze-dried strawberries. Mm -hmm. And, and they don't go bad. Mm -hmm. 
So you can do that with strawberries, blueberries, any fruits. I want to get, they look really pretty if you save a little of the powder, but I just got too excited and dumped it all in there. Here's a little powder. I'm going to sprinkle a little on top. Boy, oh, that's going to be delicious though. So you can have these little bonbons or these big bonbons. Okay. So I'm going to show you what they look like when they're done. The other one's still melty. Um, oh, here they are. I made these earlier. So I did some white chocolate. So this is white chocolate with a strawberry. These are white chocolate with a blueberry inside. And they get like a little bit of like almost a crunchy because they're freeze dried, right? Then this was, so these ones are just more strawberries. And then these are the two bonbons. So I haven't even tasted them. So I want to show you what it looks like with the one inside. Give me the knife. You get us on live TV, guys. <laughs> okay. So this one, oh yeah, it's right in the middle. So chocolate covered. And then right in the middle, can you see the yummy strawberry? Mm -hmm. Yum. That's so good. Oh, it's like white chocolate, fruity strawberry, and a dark chocolate coating. Shouldn't even be eating that. I'm supposed to be on a diet before Christmas, but I had to taste test it. So you can make those. The longer you can let them sit, the better. It gets kind of falling apart, but it was also frozen. So if I let it freeze and get really hard, and then I can put it on a plate and give it to neighbors or let my children rate it and eat them. But so... These ones, I don't know if you put like a lot of these little bitty ones, you could put them in like a cute little jar and style them that way for gifts, but I'd probably put these on like a plate with other cookies and things like that. So that's my first one. You're up, Krista. All right. You're awesome. My I'm next one up. is we are going to make eggnog out of, yeah. So, um, and I have to show you my shirt first, because I don't know if you saw it before, but um, it says the eggnog made me do it, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, however, um, this is like a non-alcoholic based one, but you could add your own whatever you add because I don't drink. So, um, but it doesn't mean that, that you can't, right? So you could add alcohol to it and make it a drink drink. However, we're going to start with, um, I've got, uh, where, I have a bowl. We're going to start with a bowl. Because this can be a jar gift as well. So uh, you could do any of these drink mixes in jars or cute little Christmas bags with bows, all of the things, right? So this one, I pre-did an eggnog jar. And all I did was um, you could use your, your little tags from our the email that Jody's going to send you. But I just put a, a thing of ribbon across one and then put a poofy bow on it, right? That's all I did. Very easy cute, ready to go to neighbors or friends or whomever, right? So let's get started making the eggnog. So um, we're going to start with Thrive Instant Powder, Instant Milk, and it is on sale right now. It is on the monthly specials, which is awesome. And so we're going to just put, we're going to put this in dry and then we're going to add um, Thrive's eggs. Has anybody cooked with the eggs? We did a demo where Jody did some amazing stuff with the eggs. They are so good. But going in the eggnog means you don't have to cook this on the stove because the eggs are already cooked, right? So we're going to do the eggs in here. Those are awesome. And then we've got um, our spices. And in our spices, we've got vanilla powder. We've got uh, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, and a pinch of ground clove because clove is the magic, right? And then we are gonna use, you could use sugar, but I'm gonna use Thrive Honey. It actually gives it a, an amazing taste. This is so good. You guys used our powdered honey yet? Um, it is so good, so, so good. So that's literally all that's in here, right? So we're gonna stir this so it gets all nice. You can actually put this in the blender and blend it up to make it you know, evenly, whatever um dissipated or whatever you want to call it but I'm just going to toss it here um really quick and then we're going to make it right here in my office <laughs> this is hilarious okay you guys can see that right so 
So to actually make one glass, so this makes a lot, right? So if you wanted to do this, you could just mix it up and start pouring it over ice for people. Say you're at an, at an event or family dinner or whatever it may be, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one serving of it, okay? Um, so where's my glass? Here's my glass. So we're going to do just a quarter cup of the mix, right? The eggnog mix. And I'm going to do a heaping quarter cup of it. And then I'm going to add a cup of water. And I'm just going to stir. Hey, look, it's egg, eggnog color, right? <laughs> I'm going to give that a good stir. It smells so good. It's funny because my house smells like wassail, which that smells so good. So I'm getting it from all areas here. So yeah, so we you just give that a good stir. And then I have another glass with ice in it right here. And we're just going to pour this in. And you have yourself a cup of eggnog. Now, if you were to make this on your own, you'd be, you'd be in your kitchen for 30 minutes and this would be a way longer class now, wouldn't it? <laughs> right? So cheers to you. You're up next, Jody. Oh, that's good. That is so good. That is so good. I inhaling strawberry powder. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> so the eggnog, <clears throat> I have a boy in college who loves eggnog. Like when he was home, I couldn't keep it fast enough in my house. So I'm actually super excited to make up a bunch of these. <clears throat> and then he can take it home to school and just pour a cup of eggnog whenever he wants. So, okay. The next one. Can I just interrupt after, because that's actually my first uh, time trying it. I've tasted the powder. So I, I, like I, I took my finger and licked it and I taste the powder. I would add actually more milk to this. Um, it seems a little watery. So that's what we get here, right? We are on live TV. And um, yeah, so I would add a little bit more milk um, and it's it's not quite the consistency, the thickness. So I would definitely add a little bit of a little more instant milk on that. So just so you know. Would you add more of the whole powder or just add more instant milk in? I just order, I just add more of the, um, cause you could do less water too. You could totally do that, but I would add more instant milk for sure. Or I'd even add a little bit of cream if you have it in your fridge. <laughs> but the seasoning is right on. So it's awesome. So the hot, with the hot cocoa, <clears throat> I put instructions to make like, you could use quarter cup to half cup of powder for one cup. So it's kind of whatever, if you like a thicker, richer, then you could do that. And I wonder if the eggnog would be the same, just put more of the mix in and it'll be thicker. I don't I'm think it thickens off. as it um, sits. So a couple of people have been asking about the recipes. So if you registered, which you did because you're on, I will send them out. Usually it takes me a day or two. We get them all typed up. We'll have labels for each thing <clears throat> and they'll come in your emails. So you won't have to worry about writing all this down. Okay. I'm going to make strawberry popcorn. Have you ever th heard of that? My husband was like, what? And he did not think it was going to be good. So <clears throat> I tried to find the least buttery popcorn possible. So this was only salted. It's skinny pop. This is what it looks like. Because if you eat it, you'll get skinny, right? Yeah. No, it doesn't work like that. <clears throat> but I'm pouring the bag in a gallon Ziploc. This was the easiest way I found to do it. And then I ground up, but I didn't do it live this time. I just did another half cup of strawberry powder. Again, you could make other flavors of popcorn, but we're doing strawberry because it's Christmas. I think strawberries were on sale last month. So hopefully you bought some strawberries last month. And actually with our coupon code, everything is on sale. So if you wanna buy strawberries and make this or buy the egg powder and make your eggnog, if you use coupon code GIFT25, then you save 25 off a $125 order. If you use coupon code GIFT10, you save $10 off a $60 order. So I'll put that in the email too. So you guys have probably seen like cheddar popcorn. You could make that actually with Thrive's cheese powder. <clears throat> we should do that for another show sometime. But so all I did was mix this up and it just sticks to it on its own. It's kind of magic. 
But then the next part's fun. So I'm just putting it in this tray and I try not to get any of the kernels because I hate getting like caramel corn and having kernels in it. So this would be the same thing. You don't want to get any of the kernels. It almost looks like ketchup, but it's not ketchup flavored popcorn, I promise. So I'm just laying this out. You can't really see it, I don't think. I'll show you on this. So I have a couple of kids that are kind of popcorn, popcorn mongers. That's what I call Izzy. So this is what I did. And then I took some of the pieces of freeze dried strawberry. So you're making almost like a little popcorn yummy. I don't even know. You just break it all up. I break them kind of small. It's almost like a popcorn trail mix, I guess. So I'm just breaking them up. <laughs> Dropping them on the floor for my dog who's on a diet. He's so sad. But I'll tell you a secret. <laughs> He's supposed to eat less dog food. So I've been adding like thrive vegetables into his dog food because I feel sad for him. And I figured usually veggies are free on a diet. So that's my secret. Okay, so then there's a couple other things. You could keep it like this, but I wanted to be a little more festive. So I pick, <laughs> went, I poured out my M&Ms and I pick out all the green ones because I already have red strawberries. So you go green M&Ms, just dot them throughout and you could add them in after too, but I kind of, I did it this way and it worked pretty good. So I just did all my green M&Ms. If you don't feel like picking through them, you can also do the red ones, it's fine. Just takes a little bit longer to do the green ones, okay? And then the best part, so I still had some of that melted chocolate from the last recipe. <clears throat> you could put it in a bag and be all fancy, but I'm just, I just did like a, a swirl here. I'm gonna just put it on here so you can see. I did not go to cooking school, so I'm not the best at this, but I did it in a work earlier. That was a big chunk, but you just kind of do. Whoever is not muted, could you mute? Because I think it took me off the screen. Let me see. Can you guys still see me big? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to do my chocolate drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. If you get a few bigger chunks, it's fine. Nobody complains about having chocolate chunks in their sweet popcorn. So there we go. Okay. Then I stick this in the fridge for like, it actually hardened pretty fast, maybe like half an hour. And then it looks like this. And I have a cute... Basket <laughs> that you can stick it in. I also, I plated, plated it a few different ways. So I got these little tags, I mean bags from Amazon that come with, they have little twisty ties. And then these are the labels that we're gonna give you. So that's the two from whatever. Um, this is an example, but on the front is the cocoa and then you can put two from on the back or you can do them separate. So you can do it in a little baggie. You can do it in a little cute jar. These jars have handles. I just bought those off Amazon. Um, and yeah, but I'm going to put it in this. So once all the chocolate's hardened, it just stays together and you can just put it in the tray and it has strawberries, yummy M&Ms. It's salty and sweet. And you could put more than that, but so that's how much I had left. We already got into it. Plus I put it in the other things. And then you have like your cellophane. So then you can stick it in there. Do a little twisty tie here. Stick a label on it. And you got a cute Christmas gift or just make a huge batch and eat it. Like you probably have a lot of Christmas parties coming. So that's that one. Yummy Christmas popcorn. Strawberry bark, I don't know. I think I invented it, but I probably didn't. But it seems delicious to me. So I, okay, I was gonna do it with white chocolate. <clears throat> My white chocolate chips, when I tried to just melt them by themselves, did not melt very nicely because I had a really hard time dipping those samples of the bonbons 
they were like, I basically had to just kind of like blop them on with my finger to get them to stay on. But if you got like actual melting white chocolate, I think it would look work a lot better. Okay, Krista, you're up. Okay, so um, before I get to the next recipe, I'm gonna show you because the wassail's done. So um, I put the wassail in my thermos here. So, and I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna pour with my right hand because here's my Christmas mug, right? I'm an elf, right? So um, I don't have a clear mug, I'm sorry. Otherwise you would see this beautiful orange, but you can probably see it being orange, right? It's gorgeous, right? And it's hot, you can probably see the steam, but I'm wassailing, wassailing away, right? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's probably good enough. Yeah, lots of steam going on here, right? This is so good. I cannot wait. It's like boiling hot. So I'm not going to drink it quite yet because it probably needs to cool off. Um, but I'm going to drink it in a minute. So I'm on to my third drink, right? So everybody's probably favorite drink, right? We're going to do hot chocolate, um, which hot chocolate is the bomb. I, I mean, my mom orders like Swiss Miss and she's like old school and loves the packaged, but I've never been a big fan of the packaged. I would much rather prefer homemade hot chocolate. And so I, and I have learned to love it with our instant milk as well. So we're going to make um, some hot chocolate and we're going to start with uh, some cocoa and just whatever cocoa you want. If you want to use Ghirardelli, if you want to use Hershey's, whatever you want to use, right? So we're going to um, put some cocoa in here and it's equal parts cocoa and sugar unfortunately, right? This is definitely not diet food today. <laughs> so equal parts, cocoa, sugar, and instant milk. Okay. And again, instant milk is on sale this month. So at least we're using a couple things <laughs> that are on the, on the sale flyer, right? So got that. And then I stick in the secret ingredient, which is vanilla. Uh, vanilla is amazing in hot chocolate. You can put cinnamon if they're in there if you want. You can, there's a lot of different things that you can throw in hot chocolate, but I really love vanilla in my hot chocolate. So I've got that. And then that's as easy it is, as it is. So, and I love to do these as gifts too, because people, people go and buy the Swiss mix all the time, right? But homemade hot chocolate tastes so much better. It is just amazing. And I love doing this as gifts because people want hot chocolate, but a lot of times they won't um, make their own, right? So, um, and those tags that Jody did, they are so adorable because they're just right there on the top of the label and you are already set to go, right? So you just give this a mix and you are ready to go with hot chocolate. And this is where it gets fun, right? Because I've actually done on Christmas Eve, my family, we haven't done it in a couple of years because um, our schedules are weird for Christmas. And so, um, and plus we don't, we don't do many presents at our house anymore. We like to do experiences, right? We want, we want to make as many experiences and as many memories as we can for everyone in our family. And we're old enough. We don't need things. We're done with things, right? So that's what we do in our family. But on Christmas Eve, I always have a hot chocolate bar. So I usually make my own hot chocolate, have it in a, in a thingy ready to go out of the spigot thing. And, um, but if you want to give these as gifts, look at how cute I did this little thing. I just totally, um, you know, tied a little piece of ribbon on, put a little poofy bow and I've got directions that tag will go on here perfectly. Um, so I can't wait to give those as presents, but this hot chocolate, here's the, here's the fun part. So once we go to actually make the hot chocolate, see anybody get one of these, <laughs> right? And I love that it's green. I love that Thrive Life is green because then I can put it with red and be Christmassy too. So we're going to do a quarter cup of the hot chocolate mix. And then put this over here. And then we're going to get um, a cup of hot water. And we are going to make our hot chocolate. But the fun part about this is what you top it with. What do you top your hot chocolate? Put it in the comments. What do you put in your hot chocolate to make it yummy? You could put, here's some ideas for you. You could put little mini chocolate chips. I've got some of those right here. If you need a little bit more chocolateness, right? You could put marshmallows because that's what I put. I put a ton of marshmallows. Um, like there's not enough marshmallows. Usually there's a little bit of hot chocolate to go with my marshmallows, if you know what I mean. 
Um, and then what about this? You may put this, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, here we go. It's Christmas, right? Let's enjoy, right? Oh, we could do this too. You could put a little caramel on top, right? It is what you make it, right? This is why we do, oh, oh, what is that? Is that dairy? Fat free whipped topping. Oh, so you <laughs> and should... it cancels out the fat from the chocolate in the oh, hot chocolate. Good it's idea. Like negative and a positive. Oh, somebody mm -hmm. says chocolate whipped cream. Oh, peppermint sprinkles. Peppermint sprinkles. Mm. If I had had some of those, I would have put those because I was thinking about that earlier. Um, yeah, so... Um, so I don't know what y'all are drinking, but I'm going to drink some hot chocolate. Yeah. When I have all the drinks and I have all the treats, we need to be in the same place so we can have all our treats and drinks together. <laughs> she sent me a picture of the popcorn. And I'm like, I wish I lived closer. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. Um, in my hot cocoa mix that I did, I actually put mini chocolate chips in the mix. Ooh. And then add boiling water and it just kind of melts and makes it like a thicker, like chocolate, chocolatey. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do it lots of different ways. I learned from Krista, I made some cute bows for some of mine. You can buy these like chalkboard chalk things and put that on there. And this is what I've been doing for my family. Gonna be eating a lot of this hot chocolate. So I put, this is a Christmas cookie jar. So I hooked my little measuring cup on it and then there's cocoa mix inside so the kids can come and raid and just have it's actually like way cheaper than buying those packets right it's so much yummier although then I have you know I have my 13 year old boy who's like dump the chocolate powder and he uses like the syrup and it's like it's like do you want some milk with that chocolate syrup honey so I have to watch him a little bit but <laughs> anyways okay are we ready for my last one we're doing yes. pretty good on timing, you guys. Okay, so we've done this one once before, but it's Christmas and I had to do it, especially because I had melted chocolate. So all you do is line however, whatever size you want. I'm trying to do things small because I just do not need all these treats in my house. And I just melted more of those chocolate wafers and I am lining this rectangle. It's like a small rectangle pan. You probably can't see it. I'm going to move my camera so you can see it. La, 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 la. Here we go. So you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. I like it to be decently thick. This is kind of a weird container. Um, so if I was doing it for gifts, I would make it probably on just a big, I'd make it on my sheet pan. So just line this, melt a lot of wafers. Um, but like I said, I'm not ready to embark on my full neighbor gifts yet. These are just taste test samples. So I have my chocolate. And then you get to have fun. So whoever said that about the um, peppermint, I just realized you could crush up candy canes and put this on this almond bark. And that would be really yummy. But what I have done yeah, so I get almonds. You could do no almonds or do half and half. I have some kids, well, and myself, I don't really like nuts and chocolate. My husband is like any nuts in chocolate makes it way better. So his favorite candy bars are all the gross ones like Baby Ruth and Snickers. <laughs> we had a contest on Halloween. We or we had both like chocolate or nuts and no nuts and to see which ones went faster. No nuts one. I proved that people like no nuts better. Okay, then you can put on something sweet like a yogurt bite. So I have vanilla yogurt bites. You could do coconut bites if you want to make it more of a tropically almond bark. But I just kind of spread them around on here. Yum, yum, yum. Then you make it Christmassy by adding something red. So did anybody buy these last month? You probably got them in a white can. They were, I think, 40% off and I bought a lot of them because they're not always available. So the cranberries are perfect. There's so much sweet in this already that it's nice to have a little bit tart. So you can throw those on. Like I said, you could maybe do the candy canes. You could do strawberries. I've done raspberries in the past. So I just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Then kind of push everything down. If you didn't do anything red, 
if you were like, if you're Hanukkah, you could do blueberries with white, then it would be blue and white, which also could work for that popcorn. You could do blueberry popcorn. That would be yummy with like white chocolate chips stirred throughout. Um, so this is it. That's all I did. You just put it on there, then put it in the fridge. Okay. So this is one I made earlier. So then it just pops right out. I made an even littler one earlier. <laughs> it's cute. But if you want to give it to neighbors, you know, you just do a nice chop. Break it into pieces. You kind of want it to be bark pieces anyway. So just kind of let it break however it crumbles. So these could also go in one of the little baggies. You could plate them. You could jar them maybe. But So I just kind of would just take it like this. Throw it in these bags. People can pick however size they want. If they want nuts or no nuts. No nuts. <laughs> then tie it with your little twist tie. Like, wouldn't that be cute on your doorstep or for a teacher? And then you got your little label. I don't need, oh, you could put M&Ms in there too. That would be extra sweet. So you also could have sprinkled more sprink like green sprinkles on there while it was wet. Look, there's a yummy piece. <laughs> I'm going to see what it looks like with sprinkles on it. Ooh, that's kind of festive. I was worried my chocolate was too dark that it wouldn't show, but you can see the green sprinkles in there a little bit. That's cute. Awesome. So for the labels I also did, if you print them in 75% size, um, they make the size to go on top of the lid. So if you're doing like a wraparound like this, then you could, because Krista had the big bow on top, so then you'd want a ribbon. But if you did a wraparound, you could put the label right on top. Or if you're like me and most of your labels have stuff, or your <laughs> mine all have stuff on them, like dates. <laughs> So if you don't feel like buying new labels, you could just do that. I don't know. It's kind of ghetto, but that works. Like it, it works. It works. And if you have little candy canes, you can throw these in, like throw them in with, you know, with your popcorn or throw them in. They could just line like this, just make it festive and fun. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a treat tray, you could have like tissue paper and line all the bonbons up on a plate and then just kind of wrap it like that or do cellophane over it. So, so many fun ideas. We did it. We're pretty good. I said 45 <laughs> minutes. So let me come. I feel like I'm far away. Were you on, were there any questions? Real quick. You guys can throw questions in the chat if you want. Um, so I, like I said, we'll send these out in the next day or so. So you'll have all the recipes and the labels, but you can feel free to customize and make however you want. Like this is just a starting point, but it's fun to kind of make it your own. I think someone was saying no sugar, Brie. Yeah, no sugar. So you could do like a monk fruit um, sweetener or stevia or whatever. So it's so cool. You can make whatever works for you and your needs. Um, so the milk is 50% off. The blueberries are on sale. Bananas are on sale. I actually thought um, chocolate covered banana chunks would be really yummy, um, especially the darker chocolate. The blueberries are really good with that white chocolate. So try different things. Um, the best way to order is in the delivery service. So if you use that coupon code, um, if your order is 125, the coupon code will bring it down to 25. So that's $100. And if it's in the delivery service, then it's free shipping if it's over $100. So just be aware of that. The delivery service gives you an automatic 15% off of any product. And then the monthly specials like that milk and the blueberries and all of them are even deeper discounted than that. But so in the monthly delivery, the strawberries would still be 15% off. Um, and then with all those coupon codes, it's awesome. So get with whoever invited you, whether it was Krista or I or one of our teammates. Um, we do these shows every month for everybody that works with us in Thrive. We do individual cooking demos and food storage classes. If that's something you're interested in, then reach out to us as well. We're probably going to be doing a lot more of that in the new year, just because people are getting anxious in the world about getting prepared. And we want to do our, our duty to 
um, to spread the word about that. So if you have questions about placing orders or using those coupon codes or need links from one of us, definitely reach out to um, however you were invited, however you found it. And I think that's it. Do you have anything else, Ms. Krista? I think that's it. I'm just going to enjoy my hot chocolate and, and my wassail here. See, I'm double fisting it tonight. You got all, I just, I shouldn't eat all my treats, but I want to go taste everything that I was cooking. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's been awesome. I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and we will see you after the first of the year. Yep. So we're going to continue on the second Tuesday of every month is what we try for. So we'll continue that through the new year. Let us know if there's anything you want us to feature or special dietary limitations that we want to cover. Um, We'll definitely be doing more of that too. So Merry Christmas, y'all. We'll probably be a little quiet over the next few weeks, spending time with our family. Krista's planning a wedding for her sister. So, <laughs> and I just have kids coming home from college and a lot of shopping and cooking and fun stuff to do. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks for being on. I will send out the replay so you can actually see how to do everything as well. So I'm going to end recording.